Hey guys, welcome back. I was gonna do the intro. Oh, hey sorry. guys, welcome back. Um, this is our 2019 video. The last previous two videos were 2017. Basically, this is how we met. All right, how we met from 2017. So we're just giving you guys in three parts each year leading up to the end of 2019. As you guys know, this is 2020. And my condolences to everybody that lost someone in the this COVID pandemic. Oh, can't use that word on YouTube for some reason, but uh in this pandemic we uh we really we're sincerely sorry and she also lost a lot a lot of and, people uh, you know i said before my condolences and um yes let's give a moment of silence to everybody that has passed Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that moment of silence and we will also say a prayer after this video for everyone that has uh, lost someone, alright? Alright guys, it's time for the video to start. <laughs> so this is our 2019 and the last two videos, 2017, we basically talk about where we met and etc. 2018 went through our ups and downs that's when we started getting intimate because we were friends before or we were still friends getting intimate that's 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 what you guys got right friends with benefits that's the word fwb because we're young right, right. that's the young version fwb in the last video we said uh, i guess our ages and you know <laughs> i hope to see what you guys think because of me saying all this stuff probably make you guys think i'm probably 64. Boy, you don't even look no 64. Be quiet. This is when you eat good, okay? All right, that's the only lie we have said in our three of our videos. That's the only lie so far, right? <laughs> sure, babe. I don't know about you, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, my hands. Sorry about that. He went for his hand. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I don't know. It's really annoying to wear. But anyways, guys, we left off our 2018 video saying um, we we're up and down in December, and she we were on and off, and she <laughs> she broke up with me, right? She broke up with me, and then December 2018, we were up and down reach a point where she got fed up she was tired of it and she she left me she she left me hanging you know and then how'd you feel luckily for i felt devastated guys but luckily for my I have to charm sense, huh? for my charm she came back on the last day of december saying i want to see you and that's when he told me he loved me like in person, yeah, not me. by a text. And okay. um, I told him too, but then he also told me that he like he loved the other girl too. That pissed me off. I'm like, no. And then um, January. Oh, I started school in January. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. So that didn't help either with my yeah. whole situation. We were going to the same school, so we were literally seeing each other like. We, we had Almost the same every schedule day. but different classes but it yeah. was crazy and i would bring him universe. breakfast every yeah. every every time we knew we'd be at school together it's like the universe man it was like yo because he moved he no longer lived in the same county as me he oh, yeah, moved I was, I was in, we were in new york and then we moved to i moved to you new moved jersey. to jersey so i was still going to the school in new york yeah and um he I was trying to get over him after that whole New Year's Eve season. thing. And yeah, that didn't work out. It got to the point where my best friend was like, okay, um, I'm going to need you to go on like Tinder or BLK or what's the other one? POF and find you and then i'm like but i'm not a fan of the whole online dating scene 
Um, even got to the point where one day he, it was like he was done because I just kept saying to him, like, I don't want to keep doing this and you're in a relationship. And he was like, you know what? I'm done. I was crying one day. I went up to the, one of the counselors. I don't know if you know this. Yeah. And I, yeah, I went to a counselor and I saw her like two or three times and she was basically trying to help me get over you. Oh yeah, I didn't know that one. Yeah, you see what you did to me? Yeah, you had me devastated. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that didn't work. Because um, I was, was and still am madly in love with this gentleman. And I really didn't want to give up on him. Because I knew he changed from the type of person that he was. It was just how to get out of a relationship that he honestly didn't want to be a part of, but felt like he was obligated to be a part of that relationship because of certain things that happened, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I even got to the point where I would text him sometime. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go on this date with so-so-and-so. Oh, yeah, I remember I was seeing the side too. Hmm? I went on oh, a date with him once. I remember some guy. Yeah, some guy that we we guy. that we worked together, and he did not like that, which made it even better. It was weird because I was jealous, even though I knew I had this girl. Trifling. Yeah, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Right. Any guy I was dating, it was like. What are you okay. doing? <laughs> yeah, he was not okay with him. He would screw his face up. Anywho's, um, there was this one specific date that the person, I met him on POF, and he actually turned out to be my best friend's cousin. So at that point, I felt somewhat safe um, going on a date with him, and I told him about it. And of course, he wasn't happy about it, but what could he say? He told me to move on. He told me to start seeing other people. He literally said, you need to start seeing other people. I need to be faithful. He actually was trying to do the right thing. And he was like, I need to try to be faithful to this other girl. So obviously I didn't take that well, um, which is why I had to go counseling. And my best friend recommended that I see other people. Anywho, my birthday came around and we started talking again because, like I said before, like we both said before, we were going to school together. So birthday came around and I don't know, we just started talking back again. Like we could never not talk to each other for more than three days. Am I lying? We wouldn't even last a week. It was that bad. Okay. Not even a week. And it was also a tradition for her birthday. It was tough to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trust me, this one was really funny. We can't get into detail, but believe me, this this particular birthday was hilarious. I'd you know what he did? Yes. But you Injured. know what he did? He, the the night before or the weekend before my birthday. This dude had the audacity to tell me while I'm driving, oh, this ain't going to work out. Da-da-da. I'm like, you about to break up with me on my birthday? I started crying. I was like, are you for real right now? Like, are you serious? You remember that? And when oh. I told, and I was like, if I crash, this is me being a complete, if I crash because I'm crying because of you, just know it was your fault. Like, it was that type of scene yeah, going was, on. Yeah, that was brutal, man. Like, you know, that's and he was like, no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. Anywho, um, he actually came through for my birthday at the end of the day. And then... Went to my overnight job. Yes, thank you, Clearly. my love. Thank you, Let's my love. Let's put that into consideration. I went to school, then her. Then you never go on the school. Oh, yeah, he did go to school people. that day. And this was in New York. Thank you, Do baby. 
That was hours Maggie overnight. Come on. Man, and I still you. didn't sleep the, the next day. I, I think Aww. I didn't have class, though. But that was a Thursday from Kirk, and then the Friday I was... But he, along with my best friend and my cousin and my aunt and uncle and mom, you know, they really made that birthday special for me. And you know what's funny? She really made everybody hated me. Her aunt. No, it friend. wasn't for that birthday. I'm just saying. It was for this year. Everybody hated me. No, they did not, because they didn't know you then. Exactly. Only auntie, oh. Only auntie knew you. Only auntie. My mom didn't even know. Yeah. No, no, no. Auntie didn't hate you, but as for my best friend, ooh, she even can't. Now, even, even now, now she I can't know stand she's him. Not this video. So even now. Yeah, because he did. He she didn't like the fact that he kept hurting me. But she's still my best friend though. Right, y'all are so fake they this. are so fake to I each other it's hilarious and the way they treat each other is hilarious anyways um you know after my birthday things actually started to change and somewhere deep down inside i thought that he was coming around and he was honestly gonna do the right thing by me no offense to the other girl um because like it, it was like next level, like we were seeing each other every day. It was, it was, it was different than the other times. And then, yeah. um, I went to Chicago for my cousin who is in the Navy. I went for his graduation and I'm, we're driving, my uncle's driving back to the airport and I get a text from him. We're done. Yeah. Yeah. I cried the entire way to the airport. Yeah, she cried the entire way back from Chicago to New York. And every day at work for like two weeks. And it got to the point where I was like, I have to find some way not to talk to him. You know, I was like, okay, I'm going to block him. I blocked him on all social media, or so I thought. Actually, I kind of knew that I didn't block you on Snapchat, but I know you didn't use Snapchat, and neither did I like that. So I didn't even bother blocking you on that. But I blocked him on every other social media that I knew that we were both, like, in contact with each other. And I made myself... I literally drew myself out a calendar with an inspirational quote on it. And it says, I don't remember what it says. I hope I still have it somewhere. Um, it says, I know you love him, but at the end of the day, he needs to do right by you and you don't deserve this. Something to that extent. And I kept marking off the days, marking off the days, and it became two weeks. And then... Shortly after the two weeks, I went to Vegas. Oh. And while in Vegas, I started posting stuff on Snapchat. Because, you know, the filters that share your, you know, that's really the only time I really use Snapchat when I'm going on vacation. So he, I don't even know why you went on there. Why would you go on there? Public to see. <laughs> he as just happened to be on. As I gotta check every 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 um app, you know, to see if she blocked me and everything. Instagram. Two weeks later. No, I've been knew that that was my gateway. Like that's the only way I could text you back. But I wasn't gonna text you at the time. I was there thinking, contemplating. Oh, shut up. No, for real, I knew it. Anyway, he was texting me on Snapchat talking about oh. I love you and I'm sorry and this and that. And I would just leave him on red and save the message and go about my business, having my fun, turning it up with my best friend in Vegas. And she was like, uh-uh, don't pay him no mind. You know, you know how best friends do. They always got your back type of thing. Whatever. And... I gave in one day and, you know, I started talking to him again. Of course, my best friend wasn't happy about that. 
Um, but I started talking to him again. I'm like, what do you want from me? He was like, you. I'm like, well, you can't have me. And... Being mad cliche, guys. Very. Mad cliche. A walking contradiction. A walking contradiction. Here he is. Have a girl. But then he still wants me. Do y'all see that I was not the problem? I was not the problem. The girl was. <laughs> yes, yeah, always a girl. But they don't know what the man does. Yeah. <laughs> me I was the problem, guys. I was the problem. And, um... I started talking talking to him again, and um, yeah, I unblocked him. He tricked me. He was like, I have something to tell you, but you have to unblock me because WhatsApp is what we really use. You have to unblock me on WhatsApp. That's so, how you do it, guys. Men out there, that's how you do it. Tell them you got something to say. Hold on. Pretty cliche. Oh, they say, I want to go back. oh no. Um sorry guys, we had to pause for a brief moment. Yes. Oh, so we were talking about you telling me I have something to tell you. Because WhatsApp was what we were always on. Oh guys, men, this is what I was saying before before we got interrupted. That's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. That is not how you do it. Take it from me, man. No. No, no, no. No. Nothing about you. Your oh, mother would man. not be happy with you. Top Tracks, and nine. Mommy, I'm sorry if you're watching this. You did not raise a tot. <laughs> but you were. <laughs> I grew up to be a tot. <laughs> Who changed? But we'll get to that part. Anyways, um, we were talking again and we kept talking because this was now in July. Um, and oh Lord, I'm like lost for words now. This is July? Yeah, because I went to Vegas in July. I had right. just gotten the other job. I she came back. I was, I was still contemplating. I remember this. Oh, we went to the park. We went to a that park. That was in Chicago. Wait. When I went to Chicago, it was the day before I went to Chicago, we went to the park. And we had an amazing time. Really? So it really killed my heart. Wait, wait, really? Yes. Which is why, oh, remember, that's mean? why she came to the house yeah, and was like, house. he she posted like... pictures of us holding hands and everything. So his girlfriend at the time saw all of this and was like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, it's my best friend. Come on, you know, you, you want your best friend to you know, take pictures. Your best friend's not, which is why I was like to him, I always would ask him, like, does she not think anything of what's going on? I'm like, is she this naive? Am I like? Yes, yeah, she did. I asked many times, I'm like, is she this naive to not realize that so, something's so, going on? So what on? happened in July? July was Vegas. Yeah, after July. After came July, back. I came back. Um, that same day that I came back from Vegas, you came over to the house. Okay. Remember, you gave me a nice foot rub. My feet were swollen. I still have the pictures and the videos. That's pretty stalkerish, but okay, I don't even. Oh, know shut what up! Pictures are those videos. Oh, That's shut up! All right, guys. He knows. And then he August, looked up. And then August came, and that's August when came. a lot of stuff happened. Like we basically did correction. I basically did the right thing. I I told the girl we needed a break. A couple to louder, baby. I told the girl we needed a break, and then we um. Yeah, we went on a break and I mean in during the break I started seeing her more often. Then the other girl came mm. across one day at my job and she was like da 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 and then what I was job? like I can't name the job, the overnight job. I told She you. came there? If I didn't have told you no, you know. She came by and I was like, yo, you know she was like basically she was like saying, yo, um if I 
What? Something about the break and if I wanted to like, you know, I was like, yo, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I need to like cut you off completely. I feel like I'm not myself. Da 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 I basically just gave her a breakdown of everything, told her, yo. I didn't tell her I was seeing another girl or anything. I told her I wanted to be single, I wanted to go back to my own tart tish ways. And uh, you know, I don't know what happened <laughs> after that. She, she, I mean, she probably cried. She went home and then... Not probably. She did. She was heartbroken. Probably. Not probably. It's and the then, truth. And then... Look at me. The following, the following weekend, me. I went over her place. And, um... Yeah, I, I didn't tell her what happened. I only told her... Are we... This was a Friday. Oh, wait. This is a whole... The, I only told her the Sunday when I was leaving. I was like, oh, you know... Me and her, we, we took a break. I still didn't tell you we were off. Off. I was like, yo, we took a break. But this weekend was she when was we very started, sneaky. Started our YouTube channel. Started our other YouTube channel. You guys should check it out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It's called O dot D dot T V. Okay. We currently stand at what seven thousand subscribers. Seven thousand K. And it's not even an area. Seven K. Why am I saying We we post on that channel. Um about your favorite artists so you guys should go check it out That's it and it's inspirational fun. stuff as well oh yeah and inspirational stuff so uh, we're gonna leave a link in the description below pray to god i remember <laughs> but anyway remember. so the sunday came i told her we were on a break and da, 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 da. man she smiled like the grinch i did i smile went all the way backwards in circular i was on cloud nine went around the room came back on her face when two eyes. He is out. so extra. Oh, Stop. You're so extra. It was like a tornado was happening. It meant that there was actually a chance Basically. for he and I to be together officially. Even though he did not make it official until October. Yeah. yeah. October. So it still took. October. Three months. Three months. <laughs> I told you I was in the math guy. But we were still seeing each other and doing our YouTube channel. And it actually brought us closer. And it was more like a dating, a, a better dating experience for us because. Yeah, plus, you know, we wanted to be financially independent. Right. You know, we wanted our kids to grow up in a, in a better life than we did. Want to leave a legacy like we know. We started talking about kids yeah. and family and I all these type of stuff. Really brought us closer. And yeah, we definitely. do a lot of things. We started investing. We started, we started investing from the beginning of the year, though. What like you year? brought me into that oh, yeah, from yeah, yeah, the yeah, early yeah. twenty. But we got more serious. Nineteen. Yeah. We, like we literally start taking each other money and put it together as one, and we start doing everything as one. Yeah. Until October. We made it official. But honestly, if you guys really think about it, this is where we're going to end it off. If you guys really think about it, if you do the math, how long do you think we were together for? Because if you want to be technical, we've only been together for a couple of months. If you want to be technical and say we started last year, October, but if you want to be realistic, you could say we started from 2017. How we built it up, we started as friends until something happened. And then we continued through our ups and downs. And believe me, we went through a lot, a lot of ups and downs. As you can tell, if you guys watch from the first video, the second video, and this one, you guys will tell it. It's been rough, but we made for it all you guys out there who think, you know, you guys can find love, trust me, it's there. Sometimes you don't know if it's the first person or the second person you meet or even the third person. Who knows? You probably fall right back to the first person. All right? Honestly, when you think about it, this is the first person I met when I came up here. All right. So at the end of the day, I hope this motivated you guys. And not every relationship has that. Um, what would you call it, babe? Like that perfect story. Yeah, trust me, we're not perfect. No, nobody is perfect. But don't we're try. Really, really, really comfortable with each other. Like we're too really comfortable. comfortable with each other's space. Like it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, 
You thought I was going to say funny, right? <laughs> it's not even ethical, okay? Believe me. But we still get through it. And I said before, I hope this motivates you guys. you have anything you want to say? Um, I think there was like, when we, when we um had like the birthday party for you, he wasn't honest with his family about our relationship the way I was honest with my family about our relationship. Yeah, my because yeah, because, him, yeah, my family knew about him. Yeah, but my people thought I was still with the other day. Not only that, they thought that he was done with her after a while and that he just came into this relationship oh, really quickly yes, and they yes, didn't yes. know the full 100. Yes, and they knew. thought I just met her. Yeah. That's right. Just, that's why I asked you guys. And I look like the bad person. Yeah, so my family thought I was rushing into things. Because I said before, they all know me as a thought. No, they all know you as a good boy. It's a problem. Thought. But, yeah, they saw me fall in love with this girl. And they were like, yo, why are you moving so fast? Da, 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 da. And I keep trying to say, yeah, I knew this girl before I know the other one. I know this girl. From my kid to America, it's not. But he wasn't honest situation. with them until after the fact. Yeah, definitely. But but it all work out. We're here now, and we're not gonna get into the twenty twenty because just as yet. you guys know, no, not not even because you guys know it's been a really rough year. I don't really wanna like get into that. I said before, I know that some of you guys um, may have had losses and still mourning and stuff, even us, but. At the end of the day, we still have life. We got to carry on their memories and they still live on in our memories. So I hope you guys take this house as a motivational video or even these three past videos. Don't give up on love. Yes. And Don't also, expect um, a perfect, perfect relationship. relationship. All right. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out the other two videos we made before this one. That way you guys could be in line so you guys can understand you get what i'm trying to say don't watch this one without watching the other two and um yeah i hope i hope, I hope you guys have a it's it's night right now i hope you guys have a blessed night oh and happy 4th of july okay. oh yeah happy 4th of july when we're making this video it's july 2nd but this video if i'm correct this video should drop on uh july 4th so happy independence we will be outside ish celebrated i am not going outside well, you must be, be out to the window you must be fireworks. out to your mind i am not going nowhere <laughs> all right guys subscribe leave a like comment down below and as well as i said in the past two videos if you guys are a couple tell us how you guys met in the comment section down below we would love to hear your roller coaster ride all right Thank you guys for watching. Will I come in then? Mm-hmm.